this is some consideration before September 21st. We have great pastors such as Donna and Tom Mahler who are venturing into California to reach out to those who will listen to the message of Christianity and accept God's love, peace and understanding delivered by Jesus Christ. We in the home front must prepare a way to gather, share, edify and secure our presence from much that is mentioned in California. California Dream and Warning California is the most populated state with over 39 million residents. Approximately 15.6 million state they, will or are planning on moving out of California. Currently, California loses about 500,000 people annually. There are several reasons including, economic, safety, health care and personal freedoms just to name a few. Christians need to be aware of these circumstances in their states and be prepared to stand up to the tyranny associated with these conditions. First, and most obvious is economic and specifically the cost of living. Gasoline cost in California per gallon is $5.52. This affects your transportation to, from work, shopping, entertainment and the basic costs of any product or service. Missouri for example is $3.79. Average housing costs in California are $741,789. Average cost of housing in the Midwest is $304,000. However, housing in California at its average cost is much smaller and less accommodating than in the Midwest. Remember this is the state that will in 2035 ban gasoline cars regardless of their significantly reduced if not eliminated emission level. Moreover, this is also the state that has insufficient power supply and has constant rolling brownouts. Imagine the circumstances when there are no gasoline-powered vehicles. Second, the question is your personal safety and the safety of your family. California is the most dangerous state in the Union. Inner city businesses in California's larger metropoles have left because of shoplifting gangs and violent actions of assault to the public in their stores, walking in the area and simply driving by in their vehicles. However, police have less enforcement authority and regardless of population development since 1991, the overall police force is significantly less than in 1991 over 32 years ago. Third, warning of destruction is health care. Over 2.7 million illegal immigrants are in California. Most are without any health care, have medical needs and rely on hospital or clinic welfare to treat their needs. This has caused medical and surgical needs of residents to be postponed an average of 75 days or for residents to seek treatment outside California. Before this immigration development California was ranked the 38th best state in health care. Do you think California healthcare since the immigration crises has improved or worsened? Dash 2. Fourth, our personal freedoms. California has 172,000 homeless which is 30% of all USA's homeless people and they have only 12% of the USA population. Moreover, 4.5 million people in California live in poverty or 11.5% of the total California population. In order to control this chaotic situation with a limited police force clearly policing has to be more efficient without being protective of rights such as speech, faith and human dignity. This coupled with health mandates on human interaction, become a valuable and used tool of control without respect to personal freedom. Today liars of the truth, I.I. Peter 3.3-4, will speak untruths on topics of the economy, health and war. Is President Biden telling the truth? Is Governor Gavin Newsom of California telling the truth? What about the FBI and the CIA are they telling the truth? Are times terrible? 2 Corinthians 4 verses 17 to 18, and Matthew 24 verse 14, indicate economic hardship. Moreover, good and evil will grow along side by side. Therefore, we see horrible times of lying, economic hardship, now and more, and social perversion. Finally, when all have been reached that can be reached Jesus will return, Acts 1 verse 8, Matthew 28 verse 20, and Matthew 24 verse 14. We should appreciate the California dream, because it serves as the warning for our chosen land of God. We are to be the trumpets of truth as Christian believers in unity against lying, tyranny and personal hardship. We need to prepare for His return now. Unity, in Christ, through the Holy Spirit. Dr. James R. Whining, Bishop slash President.